Hey Amp Guarders, my name is Ken Walker. I come from the Duchy of Felfrost, uh, where my name is Kismet. And uh, what I've been doing is trying to figure out this uh, V8 rule set, of course. So we were in the transition from V7 to V8, and uh, one of my newest classes is Bard. So I, what I wanted to do was figure out uh, the spells for Bard, how I can make a spell sheet, that type of thing. So I've been working on this spreadsheet, which uh, helps me actually do that. And it's actually pretty nifty. Uh, I'll show you how to make a copy of it for yourself to play with it uh, later on in the video. So the spreadsheet is on Google Docs. Uh, the first thing you can do is hover over this area for a little bit of notes on how to use the spreadsheet. But essentially you set your level, one to six, and you set <clears throat> whether you are looked apart or not, determined by the Reeves. Uh, this is against the uh, V8 rule set 0.7.3 and what I should be able to do is update the spreadsheet and have people subsequently make copies of it as I keep updating it. So what you do is you just end up entering in the number of a particular uh, spell that you want to have. Uh, obviously cancel doesn't cost anything. Uh, you can see I've set myself to level one and looked apart is false. So I currently have five points left in level one that I can spend. I entered one for cancel, doesn't cost anything. I could take one of confidence. You can see my spell points are going down. I could take two. Uh, I could equip myself with a short sword. Uh, I could take one experienced. I could take, uh-oh, I've started to run out of points. So what happens is that the spell points for a level are calculated. And uh, if you use too many, then your, uh, uh, then this area turns red and shows you that. So I better delete something like maybe experienced, right? Oop, let's get rid of that. If I'm level two, Hang on a sec. If I'm level two, then um, the number of points that I have carries over from level to level. So you can see that at level two, I currently have five points left uh, to spend. If I had looked apart turned on, oop, now I have six points left in level two because looked apart gives you an extra point in your highest level. So let's just randomly pick a couple of things. I want armor. Now I have two points left uh, and I'll pick uh, Let's pick uh, two songs of battle. Well, I can't pick two. I can only pick one because the max is one. Of course, you would only want one of song of battle, so not a very good example, but it shows you that if you pick too many of a, a particular spell that goes over the max, you'll also get some red text. So you can see my spell points carry over. I have one point left, so that carries up into level one, where now I have two points left. So let's do something really interesting, which is pretend I'm level six, which I am not yet. I'm still level five. Ooh. So let's go down and use this dervish. Uh, dervish says that equipment costs are doubled and verbals get double the uses. So let's look up here at lost and let's say I took one of lost. Uh, what I've got here is one per life. If I turn on dervish, then now I get two per life and you can see that my equipment uh, shield cost here, if I turn that back off, let's delete that three, four, six. So equipment costs are doubled, but all my uh, verbals will change in how many frequent, the frequency of which I'm allowed to use them. So let's say I've picked this really lame spell list, which I just created. And I say, show me only the spells that I've selected for this spell sheet. This, the sheet reduces down to just the spell points uh, that I have left and also uh, no, oh, that's not quite right. This is for, for a level, so we'll get rid of that. But uh, this is what the spells that I've taken to make up this spell sheet. Uh, you can turn that back off. No filter. And uh, <clears throat> that's the spell sheet. So I'll share the URL for this spreadsheet in the video. And what happens is if you're uh, if you have another Gmail account, which of course I have, this is what it shows up as. You can't actually, oh, look, it's modified. <laughs> it's got the modifications that I had. Let's go fix those first. Uh, leap, leap, leap. Leap, leap. What else did I put in here? Sorry about this. There. Go back to here, there. So what you can do is, is make a copy of this. So you because it's read-only, you can't actually modify any of these cells. Uh, but you can make a copy of this, a uh, copy of 
some version, maybe you can put the version number in there. But once you've made your own version of it, uh, then uh, same thing. The notes are here. I'm running Firefox, so it looks a little bit different in this browser. But essentially, you, you enter in uh, the same types of things, and the spreadsheet will update itself. And that's it. I'll put the link to the spreadsheet in my uh, in the notes of the video on YouTube. And please uh, give me feedback, either at my email address or in the video, if you want to see any improvements. Uh, try it out and let me know what you think. I'll try to keep it up to date. Thanks.